Hi, my name's Courtney and my channel is Chutney Jones. I'm Alex. Um, I run the gaming YouTube channel known as Alex Games So Much Production. My name on the internet, as it knows it, is Emily Strange EKR. I always start my videos by going, so hey guys, what's up? It's Emily Strange. I am Sean Redding. I'm known primarily as a uh, Spike is a random. Hello, my name is Kim and my YouTube channel is known as Kimmy. My channel is full of different videos because it is very much like an open diary for me. So my channel releases different content Monday to Friday um, of sometimes horror, sometimes building, sometimes first person games and a lot of the time it's the videos between 5 and 10 minutes long, maybe longer depending on the type of content of which I release. When I started my YouTube it was a video of me and my high school band Emily and the Black Skulls <laughs> playing a Battle of the Bands entry gig in my high school auditorium. So I, I do a mixture of UK vlogging slash gaming and I've done, as I said, a mixture of that. I've done some collaborative stuff with other friends slash YouTubers and I've done stuff with my girlfriend and yeah, I've done a whole range of things really, to be honest. I created my YouTube channel on the 30th of November 2011. But, however, I didn't start uploading videos until the 18th of October 2013. The videos can range from me to being very upset and very happy to me sticking sellotape on my face. This is because I ha suffer from mental illness and I use YouTube as a platform to vent on. I also get my family and friends involved, you know, sometimes, to remind me that life isn't that bad. I use my channel a lot to look back on and see what progress I've made. I've been doing YouTube for nearly six years now, uh, but that's for not doing gaming, that's for doing different other channels. I've been doing gaming since 2013, and it's been really, it's been really cool. Um, I've had a great blast, I've, I've met a lot of great people, and I think overall that for me, for being a gamer, it's, it's opened a lot of different opportunities for me. I, I wanted to start my YouTube channel by just putting up me singing my own songs. And I realised that if I wanted to get my voice heard, that's not the way to do it. Until about three years ago, I just stopped putting up videos. I just, I didn't, I was like, screw this, no one's gonna listen to me. No. But I came back around early 2013, basically just doing covers of Paramore, New Year's Day, Black Belt Brides, Motionless and White, you name it. I started YouTube back in 2008. Uh, initially on the channel Spike Speed 125 uh, that was a long time ago man a long time ago now, I used to do just random stuff and the thing that got me into YouTubing was uh, my friend Alex and the first ever video on my channel is called Real Life Glitch I haven't actually done a proper introduction video to my channel yet so you can kind of say that this video is now that I'm a little bit more comfortable with what I'm doing I kind of know what I'm doing sometimes I do sometimes I don't but I think that's the whole point of YouTube really that you don't really know what you're doing but it's that's the that's the fun in it if you know what I mean I started I don't actually remember when I started but I started because I got a new camera and I knew I needed to do something about what was going on in my head so I put two and two together made myself a channel. What got me into YouTube was um, like a bunch of separate YouTubers like Markiplier, uh, PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye. But for me, the main person that got me in there was um, a YouTuber known as Yorks Car Sips or just Sips. Um, he, um, I think it was thanks to his Skyrim series. I was like, oh, I could definitely, I, I want to try and become a gamer. And since then, I've been doing that for nearly three years now which is really, really cool. Around the time of late 2013, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna turn my YouTube channel into an internet self-harm support group. So I released a song called Self-Harm, which was separated by little dots. Uh, and the song was, start eventually listening for help and remember me. In that song, I spoke about like my problems and other people's problems and in my description for that song, I left my email address. 
and I always leave my social media in the bottom of all my videos so people can contact me whenever they need to and a lot of people started coming to me and being like oh my god thank you your song made me realize I, I don't need to do that anymore my aim and goals on YouTube my aim and goals on YouTube is not really to become popular but to express my views and my feelings it's also a way of venting anger or stress that I've picked up over time and it's also a way of just having fun and enjoying myself and showing the world how to enjoy themselves in a way. I also have a game channel which I created in 2013 but I didn't upload anything to that until 2015 because once again I didn't know what to upload, I didn't really know what I was doing. Because of how personal my channel is, it means a lot to me, YouTube. It's a place where I feel safe and I know I can be myself and put out there what I need to and that's not something that is very easily found. For me, YouTube is where my whole life, like nearly my whole life revolves around. Um, there's not a day where I want to record, there's always some days where I just want to record videos or just sit there and watch. Um, YouTube is one of the biggest like opportunity thing that I've ever seen or I've ever come to, like come across. And it's really, really cool. It is. And I can't wait for, as I said earlier, like new opportunities to arise for me or the channel. Maybe like a big collaboration and then it will just make my channel humongous. After that, I thought, yes, I'm going to keep doing the singing. Yes, I'm going to keep doing covers and originals. But I also need to keep doing this because people need to hear this. And I never had videos like that when I was growing up and when I had problems with that. And I really appreciated the people telling me that they were listening to these things that I was telling them. I didn't really know what people would watch gaming wise because there are a lot of YouTubers out there that already play a lot of games that I would have probably played or the games that I would play people might not have found that interesting. But again I think that's the whole point of YouTube that you know you just kind of upload what you want to upload and it whatever result you get back is whatever result you get back. I think the only danger when it comes to gaming is to not play so much of one game because then you'll get recognised for playing that game and it will be very difficult to come off that game and play something else. Mental illness is still something that's very, very taboo. But I have got so much support from the people on YouTube and from the people who watch my YouTube channel and it's a really, really lovely feeling. So, YouTube has a very special place in my heart. Um, I would want to achieve, um, you know, a lot of new people, no, new lot of subscribers, and you know, I just want to have be that channel which makes people want to come back, like every Monday to Friday, and be like, oh, he's released a new video. I, I want to see it. I want to see what this new video is. Recently, I was diagnosed with. Mild, mild as F, Asperger's Syndrome. Asperger's Syndrome is something that affects the human brain. It doesn't exactly do anything bad as long as it's a mild case, but it can cause people to babble a lot like I do, which is why YouTube is great for me. I have I upload two lots of content. I upload gaming videos and I upload vlogs. I upload vlogs on my main channel, which is called Kimmy and I upload gaming videos on my channel called Kimmy Games. It's not a very creative name for my channel, but it's the best I could come up with. I just wanted a simple name to my channel. I didn't want it too much. I didn't want just something that was more me than anything else. My goals regarding YouTube aren't huge because like I said, my channel is very, very personal and it's not very big, it's very small and that's fine with me. But I would like to just show people that mental, having mental illnesses doesn't make you weird or wrong. It just means you're a person who needs help just like anyone else with any other illness. And if I can put that across to at least one person, then that's good enough for me. But um, we have like lately with the whole YouTube drama thing. My, I've just tend to keep out of that uh, because apparently YouTube's copyright system is just being a complete douche, and it's just being a pain and everything. I post makeup tutorials. I post silly videos with my friends and my boyfriend, and I am 
kind of slowly working my way towards a kitten play segment, which is something that I feel very strongly about. But the problem was I didn't I didn't upload anything because I didn't know what to upload and when I did upload something I took it down right away because I wasn't comfortable with it being online and everything like that so, and because in a way I kind of gave up so that's why nothing was on my channel for about two years and my friend Raf he helped me put content on my video because he just kind of said pretty much upload what you want to up upload and you go from there and you can kind of tell what videos get the best views and things like that from what you upload so YouTube is kind of an experiment every single day especially as a small YouTuber when you're trying to get yourself noticed my goals are also very personal it encourages me to get better because I need to show everyone that subscribed to me that I can get better that mental illnesses aren't a forever thing and that's yeah that's very important to me I can't wait um, to let my channel become a bit more bigger in the near future it's gonna be really really cool but being a part of the YouTube community has meant so much to me it's changed my personality it's changed my life it's changed the way that I view things but a lot of people think I started YouTube because because of youtubers when a matter of fact the youtubers came after I created my channel I didn't start watching videos sorry I didn't start watching youtubers until after I uploaded started uploading videos being a part of YouTube it's pretty amazing and being able to say oh I work from home and people go oh what do you do what, what's your work what's your job YouTube that answer just makes me so proud yeah I think I think YouTubers help now with what to upload and how to be in your videos. So I think, you know, really you need to be quite comfortable, you need to be lively, you don't need to keep rambling on like I always do. So I'm pretty sure my content's quite boring. It's fun. I love doing YouTube and I love being able to connect to people through my camera because for me, connecting to people is something that I wanted to do so badly, but I just find it so scary. And that's why I feel like I can do it this way. So yeah, to wrap up, I kind of, I want to say thank you to the world of YouTube. So from me, Emily Strange. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> thank you for listening. I've been Alex. I'll see you guys soon. I've been Sean, also known as uh, Spikes of Random. Bye.